Good morning guys, today is Wednesday and I'm doing something very <laughs> needed today. I'm going to the dentist and get my wisdom teeth removed, finally. My wisdom teeth basically have been growing for a long time and they've been like pushing. As you can see like the bottom teeth, uh, I'm kind of like, they're kind of pushing. And I'm always biting myself when, sometimes when I eat I keep biting myself on this side because of this canine. So I'm hoping that if they remove it, maybe later on I can get braces and then it can actually fix my jar, my jaw. So I'm going to a new dentist that was recommended to me by my neighbor. Um, it's called East Meets West. I'll show you guys when I get there. I first went on Monday to get my consultation and uh, they sent me to get an x-ray to this clinic. And the x-ray was only, I believe the x-ray was only like $7.00. And they just wanted to check to see if my wisdom teeth were um, straight so that the extraction would be a little bit better. So it seems to be that the, my teeth are straight. So we're going to do it today. And the, the dentist said she would do one side and then I will come back another week and do the other side. So I'm just going to get some breakfast now and then get ready to go. So I'll take you guys along with me and show you what the experience is like today getting your wisdom teeth removed in Vietnam. <laughs> Let's go. This is the front of the dental place. They have like a big pamphlet here with their phone numbers. And then it's basically a house converted into a business. So you have to take your shoes off before you come in. Cleanliness here. So I just arrived, I'm just waiting now to see the dentist, so wish me luck. <laughs> hey guys, so at this point we're just waiting for the anesthesia to kick in before the dentist starts and he has the assistant and the dentist right here. So I have to say, for this procedure I was just on local anesthesia and I was aware of that but I would definitely recommend getting sedated if you can because it took two hours just to remove one tooth and he had to actually cut the tooth in half in order to remove it so it was just a very long process i actually spent two hours just to remove one tooth and it's not painful because you have the local anesthesia however you feel the push and pull up and down when he was trying to remove it which was very uncomfortable um so that's the only part that i didn't like however i know i needed to get this done so <laughs> it's you know, it is what it is. Um, and this part, you guys can see that he is actually just suturing my tooth, um, the wound, after it was done. And here you see, I'm obviously missing a tooth here. And once we were done, I, you can see a little bit, I'm swelling a little bit on the side. And I was still a bit numb, but I felt okay. And if you guys don't want to see any blood, I would say turn away right now. But this is my tooth, just that one tooth actually that's just cut in half, as I said. And you see how deep my roots are. And when we were done, um, I was able to talk. And as you can tell, my face is a little bit swollen. But we just put the gauze and then I was able to go. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go get some cash because they can't do cards there. But it's only, only 1.2 million. So that's like $40 for me to get my wis one wisdom tooth removed. By the way, I couldn't get both because... Um, they were surprised at how deep my roots are. <laughs> I don't know what that means. But anyway, I'm going to the ATM and get some cash and then I'll be back. Hey guys, so it's now 2 o'clock. I'm going to give you an update. I um, came home. Ralph um, went to get the medication for me. Um, I took um, one antibiotic, one painkiller, and an anti-inflammatory. And I'm going to have to take another one. Um, in about in a, around five o'clock and another one right before bed so I'm taking three a day um, 
yeah so so far after taking the pain med i'm feeling a lot better because the pain was really, it was really strong i i cried a little because when it starts really like piercing down you just feel like you know toothache is one of the worst pains and it, it was hard it was a lot so um after i got the meds i just made myself like a smoothie um like or a um, banana coconut water and um, mango i just blended that together made sure it's very smooth and then i just had that so i'm just going to relax and it's actually i feel a lot better i can talk i removed the gauze um the doctor said to remove the gauze after um 30 minutes after putting a lot of pressure on it and that it's it's expected for me to bleed a little so but what i want to tell you actually is the price for this just extraction of one tooth um that's amazing it was 50 dollars for just like one tooth extraction with anesthesia um i think that was really cool because i don't remember exactly what the price is in the u.s but i remember i went it was a couple of years ago when this when my wisdom teeth just started like growing i wanted to get them off and i believe i had dental insurance i'm not sure if i did maybe i didn't maybe that's why i went to ask for the price um and i think i was quoted like 200 dollars for one tooth so <laughs> that's insane i do have um insurance it's called safety wing which i'm really happy with them but something really funny happened so <laughs> i called them because um i they do cover emergency dental so since this was something that i was having a lot of pain um i needed it to get removed um <laughs> i went to the doctor did the whole consultation and when i was about to pay i just called my insurance and then i didn't realize that i didn't renew it with them so the plan expired and i just did not have insurance for the past three months <laughs> i just realized that but um anyway i renewed my my insurance with them they're very good actually if you guys want to know more about them i'll put a link in the description box for you it's called safety wing and they have travel medical insurance so they have they're really good you guys can look up the website so anyway i'm really happy that i'm able to speak <laughs> i'm relatively okay like i thought Maybe I would have a lot of problems speaking or being able to get around, but I'm fine. Um, I know I cannot have any solid food, so I'll see how the rest of the day goes. But um, yeah, it's it's a little numb here, and it feels a little weird. But I'm glad that everything went well, so I'll keep you guys updated a little bit later. Hey guys, so it's a few hours later. It's actually 5.30. I'm about to have lunch. Or she said late lunch because I'll have something before I go to bed as well. So this is... I made this before and I just put it in the freezer. I actually had prepared some soups already. This is a tomato soup and this is a pumpkin soup. However, I don't think I can take the tomatoes because um, they said to stay away from acidic foods. So I'll stay away from that. But this is my... Um, green peas soup with uh, i just basically put green peas with basil and then i add a little bit of um, oat milk to it so that's what the color is like this i'm about to take my medicine oh, am i missing one and then this is the antibiotic so let me take that and enjoy some soup Okay guys, so it's a few days later today. It's exactly a week later. Today's Wednesday and I'm going back for the dentist to remove the suture that he put. Um, I'm a little late. I was supposed to meet at um, 8 but I had to finish some classes. So I'm going to hurry up now. I'm about to get my in my grab and then um, I will meet with the dentist and hopefully he can remove it. So I just made it. It's like 10... 10.20 so... Um, the reception is not here right now. I'm just hoping I can see the dentist before they go to lunch. They usually close here in Vietnam at 12 and they have like an hour or two hour break. So I hope I can see him before. Um, but yeah, so to give you guys a little bit of like an update. After removing it on last Wednesday, I finished my five days of antibiotics. And they also gave me one steroid. Uh, they gave me like... Um, Five day steroids but I know steroids have really bad side effects um, so <laughs> I just took it for one day for the swelling and then that was it and then the pain medication too I only took it like the 
for two days and then I just knew it was going to be some swelling pain so I didn't want to like some soreness I didn't want to like take meds for that so we'll see that was actually very quick they just removed the suture and then he said he asked me if I wanted to do um, another tooth removal I said no give me some time to heal <laughs> Um, but it was really fine overall the experience was fine um, it's actually half the price of like the luxurious places that you will find here like they have places here that are for um, expats and for foreigners so it's a little bit cleaner but I think this is just as you can see not bad at all and it's half the price so 